What is going on here? That's liquid oxygen. What? So this all started when I was reading the patch notes from this last week, and I noticed a little something down here that caught my attention. Outhouses now handle dirt correctly. Dirt is consumed per use at 13 kilograms, but what you now get out of it is 19.7 kilograms of polluted dirt. So that made me think, mmm, perpetually making more and more dirt which then had me looking very, very close at compost piles and outhouses. And upon close inspection, I noticed, or oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, if it comes out at a set temperature, you know what that means. Ooh. <laughs> no, no. All right, so here we go. Ruby is putting in some polluted dirt into this compost pile here. It's at a cool 230 degrees Celsius. Ruby is also now flipping this compost over here, again with its very hot polluted dirt. But what temperature is the dirt going to come out as? Oh, look at that! 75 degrees! Mmm! <laughs> All right, so here's the question, me. Can we cool with poop? All right, so I need to set up an experiment. So we have outhouses, right? And outhouses are taking in dirt and they're kicking out polluted dirt. And what they're doing is that they take in 13 kilograms of dirt per use, and then they output 19.7 kilograms of polluted dirt per use. So in case you're wondering, yes, we are gaining 6.7 kilograms of polluted dirt every time we use the outhouse. So that's pretty awesome. And down here, these things are refining at 100 grams per second. So that's a real key number because if it's outputting six kilograms of dirt at 75 degrees Celsius, that gives us our low number. The high number is how hot can we get polluted dirt before it turns into something else? Ooh. Now technically, check this out. Polluted dirt only turns into molten glass all the way up there at 1,700 degrees Celsius. So we can get this thing as hot as possible. Hmm. Now that's different than when we take a look at dirt because dirt turns into sand at 326 degrees Celsius. Isn't that right, Meep? All right, how hot can we make a compost pile? Well, as it turns out, we can actually make a compost pile out of ceramic. And why wouldn't you make it out of ceramic? Because ceramic's amazing. Okay, but do compost piles even have a maximum temperature? Do they, do, what? <laughs> do they not overheat? I mean, I don't think I've ever looked at a compost pile this closely before, but hmm. <laughs> Magma, okay. All right, does an outhouse have a maximum temperature? No, no, it doesn't look like it has a maximum temperature either. Overheat? Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, all right, so everything I'm seeing here is that we can run an outhouse and we can run a compost pile and the cold side would be 75 degrees Celsius. All right, so, hmm. <laughs> okay, one thing I know that I want is going to be something like an aqua tuner. Right, and this is going to allow us to pump heat around. So I'm just gonna put this down somewhere. Okay, so this is going to be the hot side over here. And this is going to be the cold side. So the coolant will run over here. And if it's above a certain temperature, then it will cool down and it will kind of maintain that same temperature over here on the left. This gives me enough space to come in here and maybe do some other loops, you know, like this, if I want it to go and run to something else. Okay, cool, simple enough. All right, so now I gotta figure out how I'm going to delete the heat because right now I'm pumping thermal energy from this side over here, right? So I'm going to be radiating heat into this area and once it reaches a high enough temperature, I want to go over to another spot where I'm going to delete it. The question is how much heat can I delete? That's a good question. Let me take a look at the calculator. We've got dirt, we've got 100 grams per second. We're going from 300 down to 75 degrees. This means we're deleting 33,000 DTUs per second <laughs> per compost pile. And the hotter we can get it, the more it's going to delete. Hmm, what does that look like? Ooh. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do it. I tell you what, let's just do everything over here on the left. 
All right, so there we go. I've now got six outhouses and then many more compost piles down below. That way, when we kind of open this stuff up, the polluted dirt will automatically fall down. The same with the bottled water, so everything's kind of already down here. I've also got a couple of air filters in there to make sure that we have clean oxygen rather than a bunch of polluted oxygen floating around. And this is also where we're going to do a lot of heat transferring. So it might be a very cold bathroom or it might be extremely hot. I'm not, I'm not sure. If it doesn't work, we'll put the heat out to the other side. How about that? So this here is going to be the cold line and it's just going to surround everything. So it'll cycle back in through this loop and then out over there, just like so. However, the dirt that's going to be carrying all of this heat, that's going to be running on these conveyor rails. All right, so what do I want to have happen here? What I want is dirt to come out, and if it's hot, then I want that dirt to be stored up top. So I'll drop that off in a chute either there or there. Now, after we run through the bathroom, that thing's going to then kick out polluted dirt. The waste is emitted at 37 degrees Celsius no matter what. Well, isn't that convenient? Hmm. <laughs> and it will be polluted dirt. I'm not even, my brain's having a hard time with this one. Okay, so here's a flowchart that explains what's going on. Essentially, we have two different pieces of equipment that output the material at a set temperature. So for example, we have dirt that goes into the outhouse at whatever temperature. In this case, we're going for about 300 degrees and it's going to be coming out at 37 degrees. So we're deleting a bunch of heat every time that outhouse is used. And then we run it through a, an area where it picks up a lot of heat down here, and then it comes back out as polluted dirt that's hot at 300 degrees Celsius. It runs through a compost pile and comes out at 70. Again, we're deleting a lot of heat. That runs back through the same hot environment and ends up as hot dirt. So not only do we gain dirt by this process because the outhouse kicks out more material than what you put in, we have two opportunities in order to delete some heat. In order to get a hot side here, I'm cooling down liquid that runs through a loop over here. So this is where the energy is flowing into the system and over here is where we're taking it out and deleting it in both of these equipments up here and there. So this is basically your steam turbine, but in this case we're using poop. All right, so technically what I have going on here is a double delete system. So the polluted dirt goes in here and it should come in around 30 some degrees Celsius. And then it will then run through this loop over here and I'm going to check its temperature until it's above 275 degrees Celsius. At that point, it's going to kick out over here and we'll run it through the compost. After it runs through the compost machine, it comes out as dirt at 75 degrees Celsius. We then run that back over here, run it through the loop until it comes out at 275, and then deliver it up here where it then goes through the bathroom coming out at day 37. Double delete. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, so I'm going to bring in super coolant to our loop because, you know, why not? But I'm bringing it in at 100 degrees Celsius. So everything should start off relatively hot. Matter of fact, I've already set the temperature over here, you know, 87 degrees. Things should be hot. The question is, can we make it cold? All right, so we're delivering some dirt. Yeah, all right, good deal. You now have polluted dirt inside of it. What about the temperatures? Ooh, yeah, they're kind of hot, aren't they? Oops, why you're all just chilling up here. All right, so you can see that the super coolant is running around. It's currently going back here all the way at 98 degrees Celsius. And then it's starting to come out at about 84 or so. So it's, it's, it's moving around. We don't have a lot of gas in this area. Let me go ahead and just brush in oxygen real quick. We'll give it a good old two kilograms, 27 degrees Celsius. Let's see what happens. It should get hot. Oh, How you doing, Meep? A little crispy in there? You keep dropping steel on the ground. <laughs> Let's take a look at the temperatures real quick. Obviously, we are we have some heat over here on the left, but over here on the right, you can see that the aqua tuner is running and it is radiating out a decent amount of heat. I've surrounded this with 20 kilograms of hydrogen. So the heat in this area is now, what is it? About 187 degrees Celsius, not bad. All right, so I hooked up some automation just to see how hot this is. If this turns red up here, that's 400 degrees Celsius. This is 300, 200, 100. Essentially, this is very hot over here. So what I'm waiting for, ooh, that is very, very cold. <laughs> okay. All right, so if this is above negative 100 degrees Celsius, 
and we're below 300 degrees Celsius over here, then we can run the aqua tuner. Haha! -ha. Isn't that a lot of automation? <laughs> the madness! All right, here we go. Now we got our first things shipping. So we've got 10 kilograms of dirt at 73 degrees Celsius. Oh, okay, it's a little confused on what way to go. That makes sense, because I, I didn't do it correctly. Deconstruct conveyor rail. Okay, that needs to be like that. And I don't need one there. Okay, where are you? Hi, dirt. So that dirt is moving around like so. Ooh, and it's up there. It's 113 degrees. What's coming out up here? Ooh, that is dirt at 290 degrees Celsius. Very, very hot. There it goes, there it goes, dropping right down. <sighs> Loads of heat. There we go, more and more dirt at 200 and something degrees Celsius. All right, so far everything has kind of maintained a decent temperature. We're right around negative three degrees over here on the left. At least when I'm looking right at that door, which is where I'm, I've just been pointing it this whole time. And we're staying below 300 over here on the right. The dirt that's inside of here, um, you know, it takes a little while for it to heat up and kind of transfer out, but you can see it every once in a while, there it goes. So what I think I can do here is I could just run this a little bit more aggressive. So let me throw in a knot gate here, but I'm gonna hook it up to 400 degrees Celsius. Boom! So it's going to run much hotter over here on the right, which means we should see this ship out quite a bit more as the temperature in here increases. However, that does make the temperature over here on the left a fair bit hotter. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to Oh, try to even the temperature out just a little bit. I'm going to use a heat gun over here and we'll crank it up just a bit. Come on, come on, you can do it. It does not want to heat up. I can't heat it up. All right, fine. We will fill this with oxygen at 127 degrees Celsius. Hot, <laughs> cold. <laughs> oh no, I can't heat this up no matter what I do. It's just free. It's just ending up super cold over here. I need more heat. Um. There we go. There, we'll just bring in super coolant. That's hot. Mop it up real quick because it's a liquid and we don't gotta worry about that. There we go. All right, fine, I will fill this with water just for a little bit. Mm, there we go. That should even out the temperatures. There we go. All right, everything's back to 26 degrees Celsius. Good. Oxygen is going in at 27. I'll then open up these doors again. There we go. Now I've balanced out the temperature to something reasonable. 26 degrees. So now let's see what happens when we let this run for a while. All right, well, I got pretty close, but unfortunately I found an error with my system. Uh, and that has to do with the fact that I have these things on doors and they open up at the end of the cycle. However, the dupes will just kind of pick up the polluted dirt from here and run it right down to the compost piles before, before I can run it through the hot zone over here. So I'm actually not getting my double delete out of this. I'm only getting the process of going from dirt from here up there and, and then setting it in that spot. I could get a lot more out of this, but I have to kind of redesign some things. So I'm going to bring the polluted dirt in here instead of down there. So I'll get rid of that and then I'll put sweeper arms right up here like this. So that will be polluted dirt. All right, so I'm going to reset this again. We're gonna make this a little bit better. We're gonna fill everything in here with just a 80 degree Celsius water. And then I'll just switch that over to oxygen real quick. All the way up there at 80 degrees Celsius. <laughs> All right, so over here on the left, we can see that this outhouse is right around 74 degrees. We're gonna see just how quickly it cools down, starting with cycle. 364. I let the game run for a while and plotted the temperatures. This is what the graph looks like. You can see that it is definitely getting colder over time. However, it's not consistent. I think this has to do with how often the duplicates are actually emptying out the outhouses. And then we see a spike in production as the compost piles kick into light. If we take a closer look at the numbers here, you can see that we do process through 13 kilograms of dirt and 19.7 kilograms of polluted dirt per cycle. And if these are going from around 300 degrees down to whatever temperature they change into, that on average per duplicate is around 14,500 DTUs per second, which really isn't a humongous amount of cooling capacity. However, with seven dupes in my base, that's around 100,000 DTUs per second, which is a bit more respectable. However, as we can see from the graph here, it definitely doesn't happen all at once. It happens in bursts over times, about every 10 cycles. All right, Ari is now, just emptied the outhouse here. 
We're going to take all of that polluted dirt, run it through here. Because it's going to get nice and cool, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And look at this! We now have liquid oxygen! <laughs> well, that makes this bathroom just a little bit chilly. In the end, it ended up getting extremely cold inside of the bathroom. Matter of fact, it ended up making liquid oxygen, which is ridiculous. However, I should mention that the oxygen environment inside of the bathroom is only working off of what's coming off of the compost piles or the polluted dirt or the polluted water that's in that environment. So it's a relatively low pressure area. But it should be noted, if you have a constant source of oxygen being pumped into the room, there's a good chance it's going to maintain a much higher temperature than <laughs> those super low numbers. So if the question is, can you delete heat with poop? The answer is yes, you absolutely can. Now is it worth setting up? Probably not, unless you just want to try something completely different. For the same sort of scenario, a steam turbine would be a better choice. But then again, a steam turbine is kind of the basic boring choice that's used all over the place. But hey, don't let that stop you from cooling your base with poop. At any rate, that's all I got time for today. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. As always, stay awesome, guys. Peace. Mrothgar, out.